okay now we are going to learn about the new chapter that is emerging trends emerging trends in business some of the emerging trends in business so here uh, the what are the emerging trends we are going to learn in this what are the emerging trends in business in business world business markets so what are those so that is what we are going to learn in this in this chapter that is uh, emerging trends in business so what is uh, as we all know with the introduction of with the introduction of internet with the introduction of computer so here yeah, world has changed a lot world has changed a lot so not only that it is not only world there is a, in world there is a part uh, there is one business is a part of the world so in business also there were so many changes were adapted so so many changes will happen and here yeah, uh, markets a uh, business has adapted lot of new technological developments new technological developments elements here india being a india is a developing country where india is also opted india is also adapted lot of new technology lot of new technology lot of new types of businesses that they have to uh, taken up with the introduction of internet and computer so here they they have opened up they have opened up their markets and they welcome the new technology they adapted because india has got a very wider scope of market range so with that they cannot reach the they cannot reach all the customers they cannot uh, satisfy the customers needs so here with that they have uh, with the introduction of with the introduction of e business the term of e business so with that definitely they have reached reached they open up their markets and they have reached the customers who are in the who are, customers who are in the uh i mean who are in the remote areas with the help of this with the help of new trends in business so that is what here it is called it is called a new trend it is called a new trend in the business new trend in the indian markets where it has opened up their markets it has opened up their market because indian markets are very wider so here with the with the introduction of e business they have entered into they enter into the indian markets and they, they try to satisfy as much as they can so here the first e business so e business has brought lot of changes right of revolutionary changes in the business world it has given lot of a lot of opportunities for the other for the traders to improve their expand their businesses so that is why it is regarded as one of the very uh, very popular and very demanding trend in the business world here i in 1997 in 19 In 1997, IBM, IBM as user first, IBM as user first e-business in India. I-business as user firstly, they they have used in India. That is in 1997. Here they were telling that. So here the the transfer here they they defined e-business as a the transformation of business process, the transformation of uh, the transformation of business process. through the uh, through the use of through the use of knowledge of internet so that is what they have defined themselves so here with the uh, they they transformed they transformed the process of business they transformed the process of business with the, with the knowledge of internet with the knowledge of internet so they transformed each and every aspect of the business so they transformed they changed the uh, aspects of the business they know the exact exact uh, exact information about the businesses and they they know the exact what a customer wants and they reached the customers they reached the customers with the great capacity great potentialities here here the ICT ICT information I C T information I'm infer information I'm communication technology communication technology so here with the introduction of information communication technology here they have which supported the which support which supported the activities of activities and uh, relims of a business so, so we, uh, with the support of this ict they supported they supported the activities of each and every aspect is supported so here they, with that effect with that effect uh, in india it has evolved it has 
emerged like anything it has developed like anything and day by day day by day this e business is increasing by day by day so some of the surveys were conducted some of the surveys were conducted regarding this using of e business so because india is a developing country in india there are only few people were using this system few people were using this e business trends so even though that it has evolved it has emerged as a one of the largest largest uh, users of a country where in india it is you can proudly say that one so here uh, here they are given the they give latest trends actually so uh, some of the statistics of indian business industry so here the e business industry has developed a lot e business industry has developed a lot so we have uh, so how they developed how they developed how much they developed so that is what we are going to learn with the help of this some statistics some statistics of indian business so we we'll learn about how it has developed so now it is the third largest market so india is regarded as a one of the third largest market for e businesses with 10 crore 10 crores of internet users so here in india it is rated as a third largest in world it is e business is using by the 10 uh, third persons because not only that the internet users are 10 crores the internet users are 10 crores and next thing indian e business industry stood with a us dollar 2.5 billion in 2009 so in 2009 it was uh, uh, there was some survey conducted that e business industry stood with us dollar 2.5 billion in 2009 but when it comes to 2030 it has improved lot actually drastically it has improved 600 percent 600 percent it has improved that to 16 billion 16 billion in 2013 so that is what the, the the demand was like that and it has improved a lot 600 percent more than 600 percent it has improved next uh, here e business expected to rise so here the surveys were expecting access they was expecting to rise rise us dollar 56 billions 56 billions by 2023 by 2023 it is going to increase it is going to increase 56 billions 56 billions of us dollar so in 2013 uh, so some surveys were expecting that it will reach the reach to 56 billions 56 billions of us dollar by 2023 so these are the statistics of a using of e business industry and next we will move forward to the scope of e business scope of e business <clears throat> scope of e business so here we it has subdivided into three parts that is uh, uh, six parts sorry five parts that is within the organization so here e business the whatever the business is done within the process within the organization it is also regarded as a e business only so they classified uh, into different areas so within the organization within the organization also it can happen not only that or uh, a, a goods and services not only that a business refers to exchange of products and services uh, exchange of products and servi services by one business to another business one business to another business that is called b2b so here exchange of products and services by one business to another business and one business to another business that is called business to business b2b dealings and not only that the uh, here there is another classification is also there that is b2c so here b, uh, here it refers b2c refers the pro exchange of goods and services between the business and customers business and customers that is famously called b2c so here the exchange of products and services is taken place between the business to business and customers so customer will purchase that one so that is what the exchange will happen so here that is famously called b2c next we'll move forward to the c2c so c2c is also one of the uh, you can say that it was it was one of the very important important uh, market e business where it has facilitated the customers to customer so here customer can deal with the cust other customer the best example will be olx 
OLX, Flickr. So these these website are so here the customer puts his product in the product in online. So the other customer who needs it, so he can buy directly from the customers. So that is why it is regarded as a C to C. C to C. It is a very emerging emerging trends of business. It is one of the very emerging trends of business. And next customer to business. Customer to business. So customer to business is also one of the very important thing actually here so here any business i mean uh, a customer wants to develop any project work any project work for the for the cause of business so for the needy of for the needy who uh, who wants the project work so they can take that one they can take that one and they can have that they can have that project work with charging some money so that is what these are the scope of e-business so first one within the organization within the organization and b2b business to one business to the exchange of goods and services to one business to another business and uh, exchange of goods and next one b2c business to customers so the exchange of the exchange of goods and services from business to uh, customers and next customer to customer where the customer facilitate its products and services through online and uh, the customer to business so that is c2b here where a customer a, a customer pro prepares a project work and he will sell to the he will sell to the business organization where who, who needs a, a project work so this is what the scope of e-business this is what the scope of e-business